Hi guys! Welcome back to another video. Um, it's Christmas tomorrow and I wanted to wish you a wonderful, wonderful time with your family at home, hopefully. And yeah, enjoy yourselves, enjoy free time, wonderful, amazing food. And I wish you all the best for New Year's. And have a great New Year's Eve if you're celebrating or if you're at home. I hope you will be nice and cozy. And yeah, in New Year's, I just wish you all the best. Um, chase your dreams, make your dreams come true and don't let your fears to hold you back. Be brave and try new things and see you know when that where that might take you. I hope it might be something really exciting happening and you know if you have planned something for a long time then go ahead and do it. <laughs> don't wait because you know waiting if you're just waiting you never know so yeah just wanted to wish you all the best <laughs> and today just a quick video I would share this with you because someone might be in a similar position as I was so it's regarding my like a jeweler's bench <laughs> thingy <laughs> It's not actual a proper jeweler's bench. I didn't want to get one for two reasons. One is you probably know if you looked for one that they are very pricey and there's no way I could really get one now. I wouldn't want to because I would just want to spend this money on you know my supplies, tools, things like that. The other reason is that this is a flat that we're renting and we might be actually moving away from here in a few months time so then I would have problems with you know transporting the whole bench with me. Anyway uh, because of this I was just looking for something like a DIY version so I used for quite a while just this like I don't know if you can see it it's like a yeah <laughs> simple IKEA um, desk white one which is brilliant <laughs> Um, anyway, um, yeah, just a simple IKEA desk for £10 and it was enough for a long time for me but I have to compromise, you know, sharing the space with a computer when I'm studying and making jewellery. Um, definitely not the best scenario. So. I just thought I, I need another space, I need another desk and the one that would be much more suitable for sewing. When you're sewing, ideally you should have your peg at the level of your chest. It's just better for your posture and you know, working is much more professional. That's the way it should be. And you know, when you try it, you can definitely feel the difference. So mine was attached to the regular desk before that and it worked, but as you can imagine, it was terribly uncomfortable. So yeah, I thought I would have to get a desk that would be a bit higher and uh, started looking for those. And because there aren't many, <laughs> um, the choices were, a baby changing table <laughs> quite a good idea actually if you have your own home and you could get a baby changing table because it's quite high it's on, on the good level and they are usually quite sturdy second hand I've seen like 20 pounds on uh, Gumtree so yeah that could be a choice you could even cut it out and you know create this like cut out space like the regular jeweler's bench has but because they're quite big and large and hard to transport I don't have a car so I I just had to give up on this and I went to IKEA and started just looking around what's this you know higher level and kitchen trolleys where the answer <laughs> so that's a kitchen trolley I don't know if you could tell by now but yeah it's just a kitchen trolley it's the smaller one so it's almost like so it's not the rectangular one it's a square one like almost a square one it looks smaller on the camera actually but you have to trust me it's it's quite big it, ha it has little wheels because it's a trolley so it's easy to move it around if you have to so for example if you need to store it somewhere but you want to take it out for working 
that's really good and on top here yeah so it's very it's wooden it's very sturdy it was only 35 pounds so comparing with 150 for just the most basic jewelers table I think that's a bargain but look on Gumtree or Craigslist uh, because I've seen secondhand ones as well anyway this one has lots of like storage space which is brilliant you know you have everything in one place and on top you can fit some bits and bobs here I don't have a soldering station here because sorry <laughs> I don't have a soldering station here because there's not enough space for me to keep it here I have it just across the room <laughs> but if you would be able to fit it in you could you probably could if you're just using a small soldering block uh, yeah, so that's everything. <laughs> that's everything for today. Um, I just thought that maybe if you're in the same situation and you're looking for something, you know, just to get you started, like, you know, not the proper bench, but something like that. Yeah, that's everything for today. Again, I wish you a wonderful Christmas, absolutely the best New Year's Eve and New Year, and I will see you in the new year then. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for watching, make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one, bye!